Today's horror short story from Junji Ito is greased. It is disgusting. Enjoy. You can see Mount Fuji from the town where I was born and raised. Ever since I was little, I've loved to look out at Mount Fuji. It was so big and beautiful. It made me feel refreshed when I would sit and stare at Mount Fuji like that. I wouldn't want to go back home. My house was gloomy and covered in grease. My dad ran a small yakiniku barbecue restaurant on the first floor of our house, but the ventilation was poor and the oily smoke would always waft up into the house because of that. The pillars and walls and even the furniture in our house were sticky with a yellowish-brown grease. And because it was just us and my dad, the house never really got cleaned and the damp oil would soak into the futons in the closet. No matter how much we washed our clothes, the oil would soak into them soon enough. On top of that, Dad had terribly oily skin, so he was always greasy and had this particular smell. I had a brother two years older than me, but he was very malicious, and whenever Dad was out, he'd pick on me endlessly. Also, my brother had a weird addiction. Sometimes he'd sneak into the kitchen and drink salad oil like it was the best thing ever. Yui, you saw that? Listen, don't tell Dad. You snitch and this is what you'll get. The sticky walls, the smell of my dad that made me sick, my brother, spiteful and sly like oil, I hated oil, and I gradually grew sensitive to it. Soon enough, I became able to sense even the concentration of oil in the air of a room. Ding ding, bing bong, the current oil index in the room is 50%. The oil index is 50%. Please take care with any open flames. I went ahead and named the concentration of oil in the air the oil index. Ding ding, bing bong. The oil index is currently 60%. The oil index is currently 60%. When my brother entered puberty, he started getting pimples on his face. Ow, ow, ow. Eventually, the pimples spread across his entire face. Hey, Goro, stay away from them. Pizza face, live volcano. Ah, you idiot. You got oil all over me. You're paying for the dry cleaning. Bring 50,000 yen by tomorrow. Got it? <laughs> hey, Yui. You were laughing at me, weren't you? You thought that was hilarious, didn't you? Quit it, Goro. Let go, old man. It's your fault my face is like this. You contaminated my body with your dirty oil. You gotta take responsibility. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yui. Get me a towel, would you? After that, my brother shut himself up in the house, 
and began drinking oil every day. Yui. Yui. Is anyone home? What, Goro? Oil. Go buy some oil. And a new futon. This one's soggy. It feels gross. Ah, this is so annoying. Damn it. Yuck. Gross. What? You said gross just now, didn't you? So that's it. My oily skin's that disgusting, huh? Well then, I'll let you have a big old taste. <laughs> How'd you like that? The oil cooked in my live volcano. That's what you get, you and everybody making fun of me. Now look at me. I'll kill you all. I'll slaughter all of you. And then my name will go down in history as the greatest villain of this century. Like I care if I go to hell. I'll gladly burn in the flames of hell. And then a black smoke full of my oil will fill hell. And the leftover soot, it'll come shooting up in clouds out of Mount Fuji. Yeah, I'm going to kill you first. That's what you get for calling me gross. Stop. Sorry, Goro. Forgive me. Yui, help me. Grab one of his legs. It's been a while since I've had Yaki Niku. Sounds good. Where should we go? How about that place? Yakiniku Daruma. That place is no good. It's filthy and the meat's not good either. Nah, but actually, they've had some good meat lately. Really fatty. Huh. Okay, let's go check it out. We'll have that delicious meat, Pops. I'm sorry, but unfortunately we sold out of that meat yesterday. Huh? What the? So when will you get more in? Well... The oil index is currently 70%. 70%. It was around that time that I started having this strange dream. In the dream, I was looking at Mount Fuji. Oil. This is oil. The oil index in the city is currently 90%. The oil index is 90%. Please take sufficient care with open flames. It was always the same dream. A vivid dream. It was so vivid, I felt sick for a while after I had it. And even after I woke up... Mount Fuji, which had been so beautiful, no longer made me feel refreshed. Ah, I feel sick. Ugh. The pimples on my face multiplied almost before my eyes. I shut myself up in the house. Huey, you still not feeling good? How about going for a walk or something sometimes? Shut up. Go away. The oil index is now 80%. 80% oil index. Oil. This is oil. Drink, Yui. You gotta drink. 
No. Dad, wh what are you doing? Yui, you're awake? Oh, sorry. It's just the oil. What? Why are you making me drink oil? Oh, no reason. I figured you were maybe hungry. I was hungry. I don't drink oil. I'm not my brother. Right. You weren't the oil drinker. Have you... Have you been making me drink it? I thought I felt sick in a weird way lately. You... You've been making me drink that oil, haven't you? Why? Why? N no way. To make me like Goro. Don't be silly. I'm going to bed already. Th that's it. That's totally it. Dad's trying to make me like Goro. I was on guard after that. It was risky to sleep at the wrong time. I quit. I'm done. Damn it. Who cares about Yakiniku anyway? Even though the Yakiniku shop was closed, the oil index in the house didn't drop in the slightest. My father's skin got oilier and oilier. Anywhere near him, the oil index jumped up. After my father had been in the bath, there was a thick layer of oil over the water. And the futons in the closet were more soaked than ever with oil. The oil index in the house was always 90% or higher, and it fell from the ceiling like rain. And then... One day... What's that sound? What gushed out from my father's severed leg was not blood, but yellowish-brown oil. The current oil index is 100%. The oil index is 100%.